Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play, Shadow Man for the Nintendo 64. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, this is the 12th and final game that was given to me on the Christmas special, and to think I finally get that list finished at the end of this game. You see that master? It kind of looks like a loading screen, even though this game is on a cartridge. Very strange, I know. And I never really played a lot of this game, I only played like the first part of it. So, it's going to be quite blind. Uh, let me go to my game options, so the brightness a little bit. And change the resolution to high res. Let's it back to low res, what happens? Oh yeah, you pretty much record the same amount of frames, but it'll just look a little bit better. So let's start the game, shall we? And no, I have no rumble pack. Let's watch this opening intro. The 9th of November, 1888. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. spring Hill Jack. Jack the Ripper. By my deeds am I known, and they are truly bloody. I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly, and loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul, was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft, and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion. For we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the soul, but only within certain ones. Certain dark souls. My God! What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain. A place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil, in the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail, for we are many. For we are many! Owned. Yeah, I mean, that was a very lame death, like, very many... Amen to that. Dead. Meanwhile, in the United States, somewhere in south, like Louisiana, no less, in some slum where they can't afford bed sheets, but they can buy a lot of books. Okay, so somebody's seeing some visions of these uh, killers, including Legion itself. And the ISR on. What's the problem, Magneta? I had a dream, Shadowman. A real bad dream. A dead life dream. The five are here. The herald of the apocalypse. Beacon's fire confirms everything I fear. The end common, Shadowman. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead sight. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about apocalypse. I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the world. I can't go dead sight, and John teeth makes you useless in both worlds. You are the only one who can do anything about this. As it ever was. But you ain't never confronted anything like this evil. 
It's so few, not even the angel protectors of the dark souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead sight. They knew it would come back one day. Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power of the angels is all but gone now. And the dark souls that evil desires lie unprotected. What you gotta do, Shadow Man, is to go dead sight and recover the dark souls. Take them into your own protection before evil guards them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover these dark souls, then the world's gonna end. Am I right? You got it. Shit. Look, I gotta go. I got a lot to do. Take Deacon's file and meet me at dawn at the church on the hill. I've kept your stuff safe for you. Yeah, apparently it ain't food, because that guy looks like he hadn't eaten in days. So yeah, apparently there are dark souls in live side and dead side. I hate this shit shit. Just a tall and netty master man. She moves me in mysterious ways. And brother, sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about about it since nice as you please. She knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I've got nothing left anyways. My fault Luke's dead. Luke's his brother, by the way. I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live. Can't die. Dead by the perfect good of me. I'm nowhere in place. The asshole of the universe. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I don't know why, but it seems to get choppy at this cutscene. Alright, now we can actually play the game. Okay, let me pick up this item called a cadeau that's actually French for gift. If you get a hundred of those, you can increase your maximum HP. Which is good, of course. I mean, we all want some good HP. And there's like 516 in the game, mind you. Okay, let's look at Nettie's file, shall we? Serial Killer Reports, October 1999. Wherever possible includes background, criminal profile, settings, and prime suspect for each of the following. You got Report 1, which is the Lizard King, Dr. Victor Bashrakian, Repo Man, Marco Cruz, Video Nasty Killer, Milton Pike, Home Improvement Killer, Tim Allen, I mean New York City, and Jack 2, London, England. And you can use left or right to go through all the pages. If you really care to. I mean, it just gives you a lot of information on such of those killers. I'll probably look at them later. But right now, I just want to get a little bit further. Whoops. I'll press C right again to get out of the inventory. Huh, hopping birds. They're so cool. So yeah, you can just move around so simply. And you can go over here to look at the controller configuration in case you don't know what to do. That should help you out if you get confused with the controls, you know. Okay, we all know that A is jump. And hold R to strafe. So that should help you out if necessary. There's a little ditch, but there's nothing in it. Try your best to look for every Kado you see, because a little bit of health goes a long way. Sometimes it's best to just explore. Okay, you see that beating thing over there? That's called a govi, but unfortunately we cannot do anything with it. Because it's sealed with dark energy, and you need, like, your shadow gun, which you can only use in dead side to retrieve it. Therefore, we're just gonna have to leave it alone for now. Okay, so I already got four cadeau, which is very interesting. We'll have to come back here later. Much, much later. We can't do anything with it now. Okay, that's a dead end. Alright, let's go. Jump! Ah, shit. Now I have to go back and jump. So yeah, most of this game is going to be played blind. Hopefully I'll know what to do. Don't worry, I found off footage. I'll probably play through some of it and then reload the state. 
so I'll know what to do once I start recording again. So bear with me now. Sadly, most guides on game facts do not help you. Ooh, someone had some some kibbles and bits this morning. Like what? Pissed. That's one angry dog. There you go, now you can just climb on ledges. Just jump up to it. Damn birds. Oh, there's a cadeau over there, but I can't do anything with that barrel. Not yet, anyway. I'll come back here later. Got another govy. Seen plenty of them so far. I think that's three I saw already. Hey, climb on that thing, will ya? Uh, can I reach it from here, though? Ah, that's what I need to do. You have to climb onto the rope. I'm approaching it the wrong way. Face the other way, Shadow Man. Thank you. Man, you're, you're out of shape, man. Already you're out of breath. There, that's Kado number five and some dead crows. Oh, that is something in there. So yeah, you gotta make sure you look in every nook and cranny to find everything there is in the game. I think there's 120 Dark Souls, maybe more, in the game. So try your best to find every single one of them, because you're going to need them to go to other areas. Dark Souls in this game are kind of like Jiggies from Banjo-Kazooie or the Stars in Super Mario 64. You pretty much get the idea. Hi, doggies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jeez. You just touch a dog and already they're all over you. They're kind of like bitches at the club. Only you can't pit pet bitches at the club. You gotta pet the dogs. Okay, let's see. I think I was supposed to head to a church, right? Hey, I'm sorry. Jeez, don't get a big dick, man. This must be the entrance to the church right here. I just gotta walk through the door. Me? Me? Hey there, Mike. Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make. Glad you could. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the sign. You got my stuff. You got my Come stuff. on in, honey. Come on in. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slave, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the earth? That's Apocalypse Shadow Man. That's the end. Okay, okay, so I really got to get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that, but where do I find them? In Gobi. In Gobi. Each Gobi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the Dark Soul within. Believe me, I tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the Dark Soul and take it into your spell. But be warned. The dark souls are pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? You got right my stuff? Right here. Right here. Jesus, Luke! He's alive! He's alive and in pain! I've gotta help him! He's dead, Mike. You know that! I know, but I saw. It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to that side. Use it now, Mike. Go to that side and find John Tide. He's waiting for you at the narrow gate. He's got something to show you. Okay. 
Okay. And Mike? Yeah? And Mike? If you need yeah. me, I'll be here. Need me. Now, I'll be here. go see Jonty and go get them dark souls. Okay, so I picked up a couple things, like a teddy bear that I'll send you to Deadside, believe it or not, because it's Luke's teddy bear, mind you, and you get a pistol. And to use your pistol, you just gotta use Z. It's that simple. You can use C up to aim, and press C down to go back. No. Oh, yeah, how do you get back? Oh, yeah, you just gotta hit C up again. Mike, use the bear. Go dead, sir. I'll do it later, bitch. Let me just get those cadeaux first. Now, oh, that's a cadeau over here. I'll just push these crates out of the way. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. There, I got 14 already. I'm not even at dead side yet. I think there's some other cadeau that I can get back there. Don't worry, the dogs will only hurt you if you try to shoot them. Nice doggy, nice doggy. Oh, they're just leave you alone. Can you kill them? I don't know. Let me try killing one. Oh, yes you can. Okay, I'll only kill the ones that will attack me. I can destroy the barrels. Whoa. I think they might start attacking me now. Remember, they only start attacking when you shoot them. I'll get over here where they can't reach me. Hmm. Doesn't look like I need to be here in this area. I did remember seeing some barrels back there that I can probably now destroy with the gun. So let me go back. Don't worry, I'll come back to where I need to go later. There's somewhere around here, I believe. Up, oh, there it is. Let's see, I get a med pack to increase my health. There we go. I have 16 Kado already. Now, I believe you gotta use the teddy bear, so hit B, I guess. I can go to Bayou Paradise on my way back to the church, or I can head over to Merrill Gates and Deadside. I think you know where I'm going. That has some freaky shit there. Of course, it's a teddy bear that links you to Alive Side and Dead Side. I am the Lord of Dead Side. Shadow born at the confluence of worlds to walk between. Life Side is without the meaning that my partly living possesses here in Dead Side, where the darkness is manifest at the edges of reason. As a god, I step forth upon the writhing, separating surface of the Dead Side Serpent. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling? Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow at the end of all things. The horror, the horror, I embrace it. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part, we're going to wander into Deadside and see Jaunty. See ya, everyone.